Miami Dolphins are currently in year two of a rebuild under head coach Brian Flores. A uh, guy who won't be part of that going forward is third-year running back uh, Kalen Balaj, uh, as the Dolphins waived the former fourth-round pick yesterday. And the Vikings, yeah, should put in a waiver claim on uh, the former Arizona State product. They should do it right meow. To get it done, right? So, yes, even though the Vikings do go four deep at running back with Dalvin, Matt, uh, Alexander, Deuce, Madison, I still don't get it. Uh, uh, Mike Boone, as well as Amir Abdullah, if you're going to be a run first team, having as many talented running backs in the stable as possible will be critical to your success, especially given the health of some of the guys, right? Matt. Uh, so, let's talk about Kalen Balaj today. Uh, background, 6'2", 231, former four-star recruit from Peyton, Colorado, uh, decided to take his talents to Arizona State uh, and was always in a timeshare for the Sun Devils. Like, was never truly the lead back down there. Uh, mainly uh, split time with Demario uh, Richard, uh, who was uh, who had a cup of coffee with the Falcons last year. Uh, had a, a career... Uh, Balaj had a career 1,984 yards rushing over four seasons, plus 82 catches. Now, you may remember him mainly from that 2016 game uh, against Patrick Mahomes at Texas Tech, where he helped lead the Sun Devils to a massive victory, where he scored eight touchdowns, eight FBS record, 48 points, which is 48 points is like uh, what uh, Iowa scores in a month when they actually do play. Uh, Combine-wise, Dude obviously has the size. He's got the length, a little bit more of a power back. Uh, okay in the three cone, okay in the broad jump, uh, as well as a solid four four six for running back his size. Uh, he's also the type of running back who, not necessarily explosive short area, but once he gets a full steam ahead, as Reggie Miller would say, he does pick up speed in the open field. Uh, Dolphins took a shot on him in the fourth round, try and replace Jay Adai, uh, who I believe was also a fourth round pick uh, coming out of Boise State. Uh, try and replace Jay Adai as their power running back. Uh, paired him up with Kenyon Drake, uh, and uh, Balaj ran for 191 yards on 36 attempts and a touchdown, limited work as a rookie. Now, he got the bulk of those yards and the touchdown. Uh, against the Vikings. Remember, that was the first game uh, where Kevin Stefanski took over as OC uh, the, over the fire. John D. Filippo. Dolphins came into historic U.S. Bank Stadium, and the Vikings laid waste to them because that was the week after uh, the Miami Miracle. Yeah, the Miami Miracle uh, against where they ran like the the lateral play against the Dolphins. So that was their Super Bowl. So the Dolphins had already. Mailed in the season, but Balaj, uh put up 123 yards rushing on 12 carries uh, and a touchdown. Now, before you're like, man, he's he was peeling off 10 yards a carry. He was amazing. Uh, it, all of it was on a 75 yard uh, touchdown. So, all right. But also, don't sleep on. Hey, this guy did well against us scouting, as we've said before. I mean, that's exactly how we got stupid Mike Wallace in 2015 after he scored two touchdowns uh, against the Vikings at the back end of the 2014 season. Uh, but also, came back 2019, uh, put up an anemic 1.8 yards per carry last year, and spot duty did score three touchdowns. Uh, Dolphins signed Matt Breida as well as Jordan Howard in the offseason, so they're just like, ah, ah, all right, all right. See you, Kalen. Uh, so, in my opinion, uh, he is a bit of a poor man's Alexander Madison. Does run with a little bit more power, uh, better you know, straight line time speed, but not nearly the agility that Deuce has, as well as uh, M Madison has sneaky speed. He, he does. Uh, but also, uh, I think that Balaj has been underutilized as a receiver, uh, as well as uh, when he is running, he does run with patience. Perhaps maybe a little bit too much patience. Uh, maybe that's something that Kenny Palomalu uh, could refine. Uh, but also, I, I think that Balaj would add value as a short yardage basher, where you know, Madison uh, is sort of pigeonholed as, as the power back, even though he's not really like a true blue power back. Uh, yeah, they talked about potentially using CJ Ham and some short yard stu uh, stuff as well. But that that is the one element in the running game the Vikings are missing, is that that guy, hey, Fourth and inches, just stack it up and just hammer it home, uh, you know, through the a gap. So I think Balaj could add that. Uh, I think teams will put in waiver claims for him. Uh, I think it's highly likely that he gets uh, claimed at some point uh, today as he passes through waivers. But the Vikings should be in the mix. Just take a shot. Uh, why the hell not? Uh, all right, your thoughts. Uh, Vikings should put in a waiver claim for Kalen Balaj. I'll let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support that work? Pull us on the Venmo. But until next time, Skull Production Value.